And let's now shift our attention over to Hong Kong, which continues to remain on the boil as the pro-democracy protests in the South Asian financial hub enter their 15th week. The demonstrators took to the hills to form flashlights carrying human chains during the mid-autumn festival, gathering in large numbers throughout the territory. Protesters were seen singing and waving lanterns at Victoria Peak and Lime Rock. The pro-democracy activists lined the path, running along the north face of the peak, looking across the harbour. The peaceful protests came during the mid-autumn festival, when families traditionally gather to gaze at the moon and eat mooncakes. The new wave of protests came after Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam promised to focus on housing and jobs to try to end the turmoil in the semi-autonomous city. On your screens now is the aerial footage of the human chain made by the protesters. This is in complete contrast to the violence that has erupted in the region during the past weekends. The anti-government protests have roiled Hong Kong for more than three months now. The protests have now evolved into a broader backlash against the government and greater calls for democracy. Now it's over to some weather catastrophes. At least five people have been killed after flash floods struck southeastern Spain. About 3,500 people have been forced to evacuate. The southeastern region was hit with torrential rains for two consecutive days, which led to heavy floods in several areas. The Murcia province was one of the worst hit. Streets turned into rivers and the beach was no longer identifiable in one of the Spanish towns in the province. Emergency services like firefighters and ambulances have been on high alert since the extreme weather in the region. Local citizens pushed half-submerged cars out of the water. Several cars had been swept away. They piled on top of one another. Orihuela suffered due to the overflowing of the river Segura. No one could leave or enter this region. The floods claimed its fifth victim on Friday. Thousands were evacuated in Santa Mera because excess water was released from a dam. Eyewitness footage shows water being released through one of the dam's spillways. The Spanish army has joined the rescue operations. Military emergency units came to the rescue of residents stranded in the floods in the Alicante province. Rescue workers, including over 5,000... Over 1,500 army troops have been using helicopters and boats to move the stranded people to safety. Two airports, local train networks and dozens of roads were also shut down. Weather conditions are expected to improve today. The authorities have advised people to stay at home.